Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will see uh, how to style the React apps. So styling of the reacting React apps or the components is also very much important. For example, let's say that here H1 is there, right? So if you want to apply a style to this one, so how we can apply this style is so here style is equal to so here we can give an object. So this should be an object notation like this and here you can give something like text align uh, which could be, or otherwise uh, what I can say is uh, font size I can apply it for this one here uh, I will apply something like a font size of around uh, uh, 24 pixel I can give it like this so we are able to see here and if I want to apply color I can apply like red and I can apply the color here we can see this all we can apply the color so we are able to see this red color right so like this we can do it and also if you want to apply text transform we can apply something like uh, text transform to uppercase we can use like this uppercase so text transform to the uppercase we have we can use it if i save this one automatically everything will be in the uppercase so here you will be able to see so like this we can apply the styles in react if you try to see here this is an object notation so this is one way which we can do it or otherwise if you want means you can take these all the th your, these all the styles in something like an object you can take it and you can use this object here directly so now also it will work so this is one way how we will be implementing the styles so now adding a styles like this is a something like a complex so if you are have, if you are developing a project which is a large large application if you are trying to develop is applying styles like this will be an uh, what i can say is it will be a somewhat difficult so we can also add a class so here for example if i want to add something like a class is equal to okay class is equal to container or anything if i want to add it like this and now if you try to see the inspect element here it will work not a problem it will work but if you see the inspect element in the console in the console if you see here if i refresh this page so we will be able to see one error so right now it is not appearing i don't know why it is oh sorry apply like this right yeah so here if you try to see so font size uh, you did you mean font size like this you are using so it is telling us to use the font size like this so these are some of the things which you need to keep it in mind so now if you try to see here that it is an invalid dom property it is saying class we need to use the class name so this is the one thing also which we need to remember in the react js so here also it is asking wherever you are using hyphen you can use a camel case like that it is saying so normally it will work but it will show you the warning these are all the things will be shown in the warnings now the entire warnings has been gone away so this react to dev tools and all those things we will try to see in the upcoming videos so this is how we will be writing the styles and all those things so here in react js this one is a jsx right we are writing the html in javascript so that means technically we are writing javascript code only in javascript class is a reserved keyword you know the class name will be uh, used to define the class so class is the uh, what i can say is reserved keyword that is the reason the class name has been here uh, replaced in this one so that is the reason so now we have understood about this one so the classes styles and all those things in order to apply we will be using the external css so by using the external css file so we will be applying these all the classes now let's try to apply the classes for this one so i will comment out this these these things so that we can have it for reference and i will remove the style here so for creating this one what i would try to do is i will create a file index.css so here i will be doing the index.css sorry index.css index.css sorry yeah this is the index.css file in order to import this uh, index.css file so here i can import index.css file so now i have imported index.css file so let's try to write some css and we will apply the st some styles here so we will implement some styles and css so i will do some little bit faster in this one so i am importing the ro uh, robot here and i will be using something like a star these are all the things i will be using okay so this is one thing so now everything margin gap and all the things has been removed now for the body okay for the body for the body 
we will apply a font family of something like a robot so oh, we have used it right i will apply this one and i will apply a padding bottom and padding these all the things like this i will apply okay so this is one thing which i want to tell you so now here we are able to see some margin padding and all those things fine let's leave it so let's have a container for this one index.js so if you could try to see the layout we are having a container right i will be i will be declaring this one as a container and here remember so it should be something like class name is equal to container it should be container okay now i have implemented this one as a class container for this container let's implement the css for this one so here i will be taking dot container for this container i will apply some css so don't worry i have already written it so i will be copying and pasting so this is not a styles class right so that is the reason i am not explaining everything so here we have implemented some css here so try to see uh, i have implemented some css yeah here let's try to implement so container is completed now we need to design this header okay this header is to be de de decided uh, now i will take the header thing where is the header yeah here we are having this header right so we are having the container so that is the reason this is coming like this so i will wrap it in one div okay i will wrap it in one div directly and for this one i will remove this container i will remove this one all for this one i will give class name is equal to header so we'll add a class name is equal to header let's go into this one so for the header i will apply an align of stretch okay so in order to take the full screen so that it will come aside like this yeah so for this one header hyphen h1 so header inside the header we will be having the h1 right h1 i will apply something like uh, text transform to uppercase okay and another one what i will do is i will make it as a text align center okay and another one what i will do is so text align center uh, we can increase the letter spacing and all those things also you can do it letter spacing three pixel i will do it okay so it will be enough i think yeah it's looking somewhat uh, nice right so now let's uh, let's keep it like this only now this menu is the main thing so we'll try to design this menu so for this menu where where we are having so this is the menu i will make it as a class is equal to uh, menu class is equal to menu and this should be class name so this is the problem actually in react we will be having and dot menu so if you try to write dot menu so we will implement the dot menu and i will use display flex so flex direction should be column okay and align items should be center and this should be column okay and i will give some gap okay down gap i am giving 4 rem that's it so if you want to know more about the css and all those things we already have a course so you can take a look at that one and now we will go to the dot menu fn h2 so for the h2 so that means our menu what i will do is i will do display inline block and i will apply border these all the things i will apply okay and if you try to take it so here you will be able to see like this right so border two pixels solid i can do it so like this i will apply now uh, if you want you can also make it as an uppercase and if you want to make it as an uh, like this also you can do it so just i want to show you fine looking somewhat fine nice right so this is one some of the thing which i did so here in the pizza title we are able to see the same menu is getting applied why because so here inside the menu h2 we have applied it right pizza also we are having h2 let's convert it into h3 and here also we need to do it h3 okay done now we'll try to design this pizza and all those things when we are working on the props and all those things we'll do it so that that's it about the thing and footer so footer also what i will try to do is so here we are having a footer right it is already in the center if you want you can apply some font size or anything we can do it afterwards we'll do some design so this is not about a morally on the design part right just i have shown you some design i have applied it 
so this is how we will be styling the react app so how we will be using the styles in the react app react app so this is how we will be using so we have seen about the class and also we have seen about the styles how to use the styles and the class properties which we will be using we will be using like this and remember thus whenever you are importing this index.css it will be global by default so that means whatever the cs class names you are having you can apply all in all the components it is not a component scope so we'll try to we'll learn about the component scope styles and all those things in the upcoming video just i'm trying to tell you that the styles which you are applying in this way is a global scope of styles not a component scope of styles so that's it guys about the styling of the react apps so i will commit this code so if you have you who are maybe having doubts or anything if you want to refer means so you will be you know already that github repository url i have provided in the description below so who are maybe having in this one so you can go to my react course so here this is our react 18 iphone course in this one in the pizza app so right now we are learning about the pizza app right so the pin the pizza app you can learn it this on view code okay so this pizza app so that's it guys about this one so the description is will be provided in the uh, the repository url will be provided in the description below if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you